Today, because one of my best friends is coming over for a visit, I'm going to make my famous rice and beans. And like all of my recipes, I shouldn't say like all of my recipes, but like a lot of my recipes that uh, I make from scratch, they start with garlic, but this time I decided to make a little bit of a change. I'm using garlic and shallot. I love shallot. I love toasted shallots. I love the smell and the flavor. And one of my favorite spice companies, Penzi Spices, came out with shallot salt. So I'll be adding some of this a little bit later in the recipe as well. So now what we're going to do to start the recipe is heat up some oil. I like to use grapeseed oil for a variety of different reasons, but for primarily the lack of overwhelming flavor that you get sometimes with olive oil. Okay, so I'm going to set the oven on, I'm sorry, the stove on medium. I'm going to heat up this oil and then I'm going to add the garlic and shallots. Usually when my friend Judy comes to visit, it's a vegan festival. There's just so much food. And today's visit will be no exception. Because I didn't have enough time to run to the store to get some uh, vegetable broth, I decided to try a new product I hadn't seen before. It's made by a company called Rapunzel and it's vegan vegetable bouillon with sea salt. And it comes in these little blocks. You can see they use a lot of turmeric because of the yellow color. There's also a lot of spices. So in preparation for the water boiling, I'm going to just pop these into my container. Because I'm going to make a lot of rice, I'm going to use two parts rice and four parts water. So actually I'll probably pour the water over this one to get some of that good stuff off, and likely this one as well. One of my favorite inventions is the electric kettle. I, um, I picked this one up in Canada and I love it. So I just put my water in there and I'll wait until it boils and make some bouillon to use with my rice. In the meantime, let's take a look at how the garlic and shallots are doing. I think I'll just give them a little bit of a stir. They need to heat up a little bit more. And now I'm going to measure out and rinse the rice. It's a brown short grain rice and you should always rinse rice before you cook it. The garlic and the shallots are sizzling and now I'm going to add the rinsed rice We're going to mix this around a little bit, get some of that liquid off and toast up the rice a little bit before adding that really great bouillon based broth. I've added the broth and now I'm waiting for the rice mixture to come to a rolling boil. I have the heat up on high and then I'm going to cut the heat to simmer and cover this saucepan. But in addition to the broth, I added some of this great um, half sharp paprika from Penzi Spices, uh, some of the shallot salt that I mentioned before, some organic cumin from Simply Organic, some freshly ground pepper, and I think that's it. I didn't add any salt because the shallot salt has salt in it and the um, broth has salt in it too. Well, it looks like we're getting close to that rolling boil. I'm just going to give it a stir. That's really coming along. A few more minutes. Actually, maybe not even a few more minutes, maybe a minute. And then I'll cover it and let it simmer until the water has been, I'm sorry, the broth has been absorbed. This soupy mess is really the, the magic of the whole thing. It's the bean mixture that I'll be adding to the rice after it's almost all the way cooked. What I've added here is um, a can of organic pinto beans, including all the liquid that came in the can, um, some marjoram, sweet paprika, half sharp paprika, more of the cumin and more of the shallot salt 
to echo the flavor in the cooking rice, which, uh, let's see. Wow, that's really going along. And I also added some of my homemade tomato sauce. And this is a pretty typical Italian tomato sauce. So um, it's got garlic and oregano. Actually, it doesn't have oregano. This one I made with basil. I had to remember that. Um, but I added four tablespoons of that to this to add a little bit more liquid because the brown rice will really absorb a lot of the liquid. We are at a half an hour of cooking time and the rice is at the point where we need to add the bean mixture. Let me grab this carefully. Okay, here we go. Give it a good stir. Well, it tastes good, even though it's cold. And then what I'm going to do is put it, put the heat on the lowest setting I can without it going out, cover it again, and let it cook for at least another half an hour. Well, it's done. At about 15 minutes, whoops. <laughs> That'll tell you, it's done, that's 30 minutes. Um, at 15 minutes, I added about a cup and a half of water because the brown, whoops, the brown rice really drank up a lot of the broth. I'm gonna back up because it's steaming up my camera. Anyway, um, at this point, I've got about a half an hour until Judy comes, so I'm just gonna keep it on very, very low. And then we're gonna enjoy it because it's fantastic.